This video is a colour 101 video, so whether you are a beginner with colour or you just need a little bit of a helping hand, I'm going to show you my tips and tricks as to how to create a cohesive colour palette in XD. So when I created my UI kit for Adobe XD, I knew that I wanted it to adhere to material design colours because they're quite bright and fresh and it lent itself really well to this project. So when it comes to putting together colour palettes for projects in general, I'm a big fan of screenshots, especially when you can find screenshots such as this that just provide such a great wealth of colour inspiration. So what I do is I drag a screenshot like that temporarily into my XD file and I create a new artboard. Now this artboard can be any size you want because it's not forming part of our main design. I'm going to go ahead and call that colour palette. And then what I tend to do is create a series of circles and that is simply to house the colours that we want to choose for our colour palette. I could use repeat grid here but I don't want to spoil the magic too early on. So once we have our series of circles, I'll then fill those circles with the colours that we're picking for the colour palette. And you can use the eyedropper tool to just go ahead and pick some cohesive colours. Obviously this makes quite light work of it because the colours on here all go pretty well together anyway. And I'm going to create a nice material design looking gradient by using the eyedropper tool again and just simply grabbing some of these great colours and there you go that makes up a really beautiful cohesive colour palette what I tend to do then is get rid of the inspiration screenshot and concentrate over here on the colours that I have picked now what I'm then going to do is store these colours over here in the asset section and I just simply go through and add each one of these colours into the asset section so that I can reuse those across my project. And the reason we do this is say we had a top bar in our project and we were simply using the colour panel over here and we were picking a colour. Say that then got reused across our project, you can imagine that's being used across multiple artboards and then a bit later on we decide that actually I'm going to experiment with colour now and I think actually a darker purple would be much nicer you would then have to go through and manually match up that purple everywhere where the previous purple was used. However, there's a better way. Instead, when we create that top bar, if we go over here into the assets section and we pick one of the stored colours, and then that gets reused across our project. If we then decided at a later date that we wanted to experiment with colour, we would go back up into the assets section, right click, hit edit, and then experiment with the colour up here, which would change that colour everywhere where that colour then appeared in the project.